Hello everyone. In this video I'm going to show you how you can discover what people are searching for and understand the content that they're interested in using a combination of visual text analysis tool Infranodus and GPT-4 AI. So that in the end you get a graph like this that shows you what are the main topics that people are interested in in relation to your product and what kind of keyword combinations you can use to promote this product to your audience. So keep watching if you want to learn how it works. First of all, we will open the app that's called Infranodus. And inside this app, we have the CO section, keyword research, and we click on keyword research. And then we type in the topic that we're interested in. In my case, it's uh, heart rate variability. This is uh, a topic I'm interested in because I'm working on a device that would measure it in an interesting way. Uh, what Infranodus does is that it imports uh, the top 200 related search queries. So it's the thing that you see on Google when you search for HRV. You know, it shows you what, what else people are searching for. So it's basically the same thing here, but 200 results uh, also with the number of searches. So you can see which combinations of keywords people use when they search for heart rate var variability or HRV, which is an abbreviation of that term. And uh, the first thing that I like to do is to hide the stuff uh, that are obvious. So for example, HRV is a synonym. I'm going to hide it, peel it off the layer. And then very quickly, I can see uh, that when people search for HRV, they also search for Apple Watch. So I know that if I'm creating a product that is related to this topic, or if I want to write content, it has to be related to Apple Watch. And here, if I click on those terms on the graph, it shows me uh, which uh, search phrases people use when they search for Apple Watch and HRV. So I can also see the most popular ones, are, for example, heart rate variability, Apple Watch, Series 7, normal range. So people are interested in what the normal range is. And here it's shown to me, it's emphasizing that what they search for is the normal range and also what happens when it's low. So if I like these keywords and I'm interested to save them, I can just select some of them. And then if I click here, they're going to be saved in my project notes. So I can also save the keyword combinations that I find interesting this way, right? Then uh, let's say here, I also see that low is quite an important. Uh, so people want to know uh, what happens when your HRV heart rate variability is too low uh, or also when it's too low on Apple Watch, specifically in relation to Apple Watch. So I save that also by clicking here into my list of notes. If you don't see this uh, menu, by the way, you should turn on advanced features here and then you will see that icon. Then once I deal with all the most of this stuff, I will also see here I have age, but it's not so, so much connected to Apple Watch. So this is another cluster of things that people are interested in. And for instance, what's interesting is that people who use Fitbit, they're searching for uh, age chart for Fitbit, uh, what HRV is good for what age. So this I can also select and uh, save it into my selected keywords, right? So I get a really quick understanding which search terms are used in what context. And this is really useful when you want to create relevant content. Then I also see age is related to normal range. This is another topic that people search for. So I'm also going to save this here and it's going to be um, saved into my notes. So here now I have a combination of the keywords that I'm interested in. Of course, I can also zoom into detail. So for example, here there's something about Garmin and sleeping. So which, which HRV is good for sleeping. So you see it's, uh, it's also connected to age, sleeping by age. So maybe this is something I should add as well. I'm going to save it here. And finally, there is something about Garmin, but Garmin is only used in HRV calculator. So maybe I'm not so interested in that. Great. So as you can see, I have some specific keywords ideas that also consider the clusters or the combinations of those keywords specifically. I understand if I create content about it, I have to write about Apple Watch. Uh, those people who are interested in age charts are more Fitbit users and also uh, how HRV is changing and sleeping. So this is great because it already gives me some nice ideas for content. What I can also do is use GPT-4 AI to generate topics for this cluster. So I can click reveal high-level ideas here 
and it's going to show me uh, what people are searching for and for instance some topics might come through that I haven't noticed before. For instance app accuracy, so that's something that people are interested in, they want to know how accurate the results are. Uh, autoimmune diseases, something I haven't noticed uh, in the first iteration, and then also what I already realized about Fitbit uh, and age, but also gender. So maybe there's something about male, female uh, that I didn't pay attention to, and charts, so that exists kind of like in Fitbit. And then also sleep range, this we already know. For instance, uh, right now, what I did gives me is to research a little bit more on this accuracy thing. So I'm going to click on accuracy and see in which context this is used. And I see that people actually want to know how accurate this reading is specifically on Apple Watch. This is something that comes up a lot. So if I create a product, it should address this concern. If I create content, I want it to be also related to these topics. So this is a really good way to kind of understand the idea. Then let's say once I dealt with this first iteration of ideas, I can add more search queries. So I'm going to add HRV here because I used heart rate variability. Now I'm going to make the same search for HRV, which is a synonym. So I like to add things gradually, step by step into the graph. I'm adding now those results. Um, as you can see, it's kind of similar, but there is a bit more of Reddit coming up here. So people also search for some information on Reddit. This is great because uh, I understand that this might be a good platform to promote my product, so I'm going to also save it here. And let's see if there is anything else that is interesting that we haven't seen before. I think this is okay. There are some specific devices, uh, Garmin Phoenix 6. So this is maybe interesting to look into this device. If I'm creating an app, for instance, I might want to be uh, interested to also add support of this device because people search for it, although not so much. This I can estimate later. Uh, and finally, this, yeah, autoimmune diseases, because that I was interested in, how the, the, the relation between HRV and autoimmune diseases, apparently some people search for it. So that can be also something for me to keep in mind. So I'm going to save that. Now, my next step is to expand this search further. So as you can see, I was using Google Suggestions, what I showed you before, this auto-suggest field. Now I'm going to use AdWord suggestions. So this is the ideas that are generated by Google AdSense system. Uh, let's see what kind of ideas they recommend because sometimes it's slightly different and they add some more relevant content. So for example, they added the Polar device here, uh, Polar and Sense, Polar Verity Sense. So this is also a specific product I might be interested in supporting and actually there are some searches for that not so many but it's an interesting niche okay and then phoenix chest trap we have and i already know apple watch so i want to show you also how you can get rid of the stuff that you already know so let's say that we understand already that reddit apple watch are all shown so we just select those nodes hide them it slices off this top layer we see what's coming in under so garmin is a pretty popular device in this context right so I will also delete Garmin because I already have it written down. I already know about the age and good and fit uh, and low. I hide that. Okay, increase is coming up. So I can see that people are searching for best exercise to increase HRV. This is great because uh, it gives me directly an idea for the content or even for the functionality that I could be adding into this app that I'm developing. Great, so I save this stuff here and let's also make one more import but for heart rate variability from Google suggestions. So we kind of populate this graph with more information, see if anything else interesting comes up. So we need to remove HRV obviously because this is going to take all the attention Apple Watch again. Okay, so normal range is something that people search for. Maybe I add it again just to remind myself this. Select remove, Garmin age, sleeping low, we already know all this. We already talked about accuracy chart Fitbit, increasing stuff. Okay, that's great. And there's an interesting cluster here on Honda. It has this model, so I should make sure to disassociate from that cluster because I'm interested in heart rate variability, not in the model of the car. 
So that would be kind of like the workflow that you could use to analyze a certain keyword or a combination of keywords. And then let's say if I want to get more specific, of course I can add more and more keywords into the search and generate the graph and slice it layer by layer. And by the way, later if I want to see, for instance, what were the results, so I'm gonna get all the nodes back into the graph, what were the results for only uh, related search queries to heart rate variability. I can use these filters here to see what people search for. And if I want to see only the most popular searches, so for example, from 10,000 searches per month, I select this and I see that actually it's Honda heart rate variability, but kind of like very generic. So it's going to be hard to compete on that. But for instance, variance is a good word because I didn't know that people use this a lot. Uh, not so obvious. I'm going to save this as a keyword idea also because if I phrase my content in this way, then I'm going to generate some interesting uh, audience there as well. And now let's go to the less popular search queries, 1,000 to 10,000 queries, filters here, they're, so, they're shown on the left, and obviously this is going to be heart rate variability and HRV, so I'm going to delete those, hide them from the graph, and then I see, okay, Apple Watch comes up again. We have it already, so this is great. Um, dangerously low symptoms. So that's great because I didn't know that people use these phrases when they search for this content. So I'm going to save them as well. Okay, hide them from the graph. Normal range, we already have it written down. Age chart we have, Apple Watch we have. So I guess this is it. We did a very quick 10-minute uh, long research of the main keywords related to the topic I was interested in. We have a list of the keywords uh, here shown on the left in the project notes and I can use this, sorry about that, as a content to then uh, generate something interesting from it. For instance, I can even use the AI to make a summary of those notes. So it's going to take all the notes I wrote down and make a summary from them. Maybe it gives me like an idea of a text I could write or I could even put it as a prompt into ChatGPT and create some content. I'm not a big fan of that, but some people like to be efficient in this way. Or also it can create like an outline of my notes so some kind of like an article structure that will tell me how I can make some content that would be really relevant to what people search for and uh, you know how it's, it's kind of like a content plan that I could use for my website to promote this further. So this is how it works. Feel free to try it out on infranodos.com. Also subscribe to this channel to be informed about new videos when they come out. And if you have any questions or comments, please leave them in the comments below or through our support portal. Thank you.